Hey everybody, this is Point Shooter again doing another knife review. Today I'll be reviewing the Benchmade 557 SBK, which is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian with black finish and tanto tip. This has become my favorite EDC knife. I've had this knife for five months now and have carried it every day for that entire time period. I love this knife. This knife is part of the Benchmade Blue class which is uh, a class that is, they say, uh, made for people who love knives. It's also an axis lock, which is my favorite locking system of any folding knife. It also has a Tonto tip, as you can see, which I've found, uh, this was my first EDC knife with a Tonto tip, but I've found it to be very effective for most cutting tasks. It's also partially serrated. Um, it's got, the, wearing that black uh, Benchmade coating, and it's a 154 cm blade. Overall, this has become my favorite EDC knife, and I am never ever without it. Uh, I pretty much always will have it on my person, and I love it. When I bought this knife, uh, it was expen it was an ex it's an expensive knife. They run anywhere from about uh, 70 to 80 dollars, uh, depending where you shop around. Uh, I deal with a uh, a knife distributor in uh, New Jersey. And I've uh, had very good uh, quality service from that distributor. The Out of the box, this blade was not as sharp as I would have liked it. A uh, little surprising for a Benchmade. But what I was able to do was with a diamond stone, reprofile that edge a little bit and back it off. Uh, out of the box, it was maybe about a 30 degree grind on it. Um, I backed it down to about a 20 and found that the cutting performance has increased. Let's talk a little bit about the locking system. This knife has the axis locking system, and what you do with that is by by uh, and you can see mine is is very uh, is very smoothed out um, by moving the uh, the axis bar backwards. It allows you to close the knife. So by retracting that, you close the knife. Uh, I've used many knives over the years: liner locks. Um, lock back knives, frame locks, and overall I love the axis lock. Uh, I'm actually a left lefty and I find that the axis lock is the most ambidextrous opening and closing system that I have ever found. Uh, where I live we have a regulation of three inch blades. We're pro prohibited from carrying anything over three inches and so the Benchmade has a 2.91 inch blade which is perfect for where I live. Uh, the overall weight of the knife is 2.67 ounces which is actually a pretty lightweight knife. There are other knives that are perhaps lighter, uh, but I found that this has a good weight to it and it's a very comfortable grip for me. The way the knife carries is what's called tip up. And for those of you that don't know, you can see how much <laughs> wear I've got on my pocket clip here. Uh, the tip up design allows you to clip the knife inside your pocket with the tip facing up. See the tip here is what's facing up in your pocket. And I find that for a quick draw, the knife is right away in my hand. Uh, and I do carry all my folding knives on my right side, uh, so as not to interfere um, with my left hand in general tasks. The closed length of this blade is 3.87 inches, and the open length is 2.78 inches. So it's a, it's a, small, uh, it's a small utility knife. Benchmade does make a larger version of this, the full-size Griptilian, but unfortunately, uh, where I live, I'm not able to carry such a larger knife. Uh, it's a little over a three-inch blade, so I stuck with the mini Griptilian. The Tanto tip on this knife, uh, this was actually my first EDC blade with the Tanto tip, and I have to say I've been very impressed by it. I wasn't sure at first if I was going to like it or not, but I found that for uh, most tasks, opening the mail, uh, slicing fruit, uh, doing basic cutting chores, it's held up very well. The edge retention on this knife is excellent. The blade is in 154cm, and 154cm is a stainless steel which is rust resistant and also wear resistant. Uh, D2 seems like a big craze right now. Um, some of the knives that they're making are in uh, S30V, other blade steels that are out there. I feel like 154CM is a very good, uh, very good balance. So far, as I said, I've had this knife for five months and carried it every single day. 
Uh, I find that it rides well in uh, cargo pants, shorts, anything you want to carry it with. I've never had a problem with losing the knife or having it fall out of my pocket. Uh, and the other nice thing about this knife is that the, uh, this, the uh, serrations or the grippy part of the knife under the handle does not rip up the pocket too much. As you can see on this side, the side, uh, the clip is reversible, so if I wanted to carry that knife on my left side, I could. The only other thing about this knife is the handle clip, the uh, clip only goes one way. A lot of the knives that I used to carry were tipped down, which you would clip the knife on your pocket this way and then have to pull the knife out and rotate it to open it. Uh, I prefer the tip down, but if you're a real dedicated, uh, I'm sorry, I prefer the clip tip up. If you're a real dedicated tip down person, you know, that's something you're going to have to deal with. Uh, the blade play is, well, there's none. There is minimal blade play uh, up, down, side to side. Uh, again, we could change that um, pivot screw if we wanted to. Um, I have mine. Uh, very lightning fast. Uh, I use uh, white lightning as a lubricant product on this knife. Uh, some guys will use rem oil, uh, tough glide. There's many different quality lubricants out there. The handles are a, um, a plastic and personally I think that for an EDC knife you don't need a full um, a metal handle or anything like that. If you look inside you can see that there are, uh, there are stainless liners on the inside of the knife. They're really not skeletonized. There's some drilling out on them, but it's not a lot. If we get the uh, Inova Microlite here, you can probably see inside a little better. You can see those liners are inside there. They're not fully drilled out. Um, I don't think it adds that much weight, though. It's not something that I'm concerned about. But overall, this is a very strong knife. The axis lock is is great. I love it and I find that it has really good uh, blade retention and I never have to worry about the blade coming closed on me. Um, for the uh, the jimpin up here, it's not great on this knife. Uh, there is a there is a pretty good, um, you get a pretty good grasp on the blade uh, both right and left handed, but uh, this could be uh, done a little bit better perhaps if it was a little more of an aggressive uh, notching system up there. Overall, I think that this knife really works well in an EDC roll. You can also attach a lanyard to it. You could put it on your key ring if you wanted. It's a little big for key ring carry, but I find that when it's clipped to my pocket, it's very unobtrusive. The carry clip keeps it low in my pocket and keeps it out of the way. And as I said, I've never had a problem with losing it. Uh, I've carried this through many different situations, as you can see by the wear on the clip. It's been with me all the time, and I've never had a time where it's fallen off my pocket or been hard to access. The deployment is just lightning fast. Uh, some guys will choose to just open it by hand. I like giving it a good flick of the thumb stud. Uh, other knives, Spyderco, um, there are many different types of blades with the thumb hole. With the, uh, the thumb hole. Uh, there's actually a version of this knife, the grip, mini griptilian that comes with the thumb hole. Uh, the 555HG, which is a hologram blade, um, sort of a sheep's foot design. And you can get this knife in a spider hole if you really like that for the deployment. I personally I enjoy the thumb stud, but there are uh, many different versions of this knife. As I said, I have the Tonto tip. There it comes in the sheep's foot design. Uh, there's also a, drop, a conventional drop point. Uh, you can get this knife in several different colors. Um, I have one on order in uh, with desert tan handle, or I believe Benchmade calls it the sand finish. It's also available with a yellow handle and a bright blue finish. There used to be uh, a bunch of other colors that they had a couple years ago. Might be able to find those online, not sure, but it uh, doesn't seem like Benchmade is producing it in those other colors. Uh, it seems like it's in black, blue, yellow, and olive drab, and the sand color. Uh, if you lived in an area where you could carry a larger blade, the larger Griptilian might be a real good option for you. Uh, personally, where I am, I find that 3 inches, or in this case 2.91 inches, is adequate for most cutting chores, but sure, a larger blade might be nice. Uh, the finish is that uh, Benchmade um, black coating, and I find it to be very adequate. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of wear on my edge here, and I've done a lot of cutting with this knife. Cardboard, rope, leather, um, fruits, vegetables, uh, anything that I've taken it on against, it's, it's held up fine. Uh, I was told by my knife dealer that some of the older Benchmade black finishes tended to wear more, 
but this one uh, is the newer um, the newer BK coating, which is a much higher duration finish than the older versions. The only thing about I will say about um, the edge on this knife is again, mine was not as razor sharp as I would have liked out of the box, but with a few passes on a diamond stone and then a final um, sharpening with uh, some ceramic rods, this thing will will really cut. Uh, and it has. I bear several uh, several marks from where it's bit me before. Uh, the serrations on this knife aren't really great. Uh, I chose to get a half serrated uh, because this is my EDC knife and I like to have that capability if I'm cutting rope or a tougher material. However, for most users, um, you may not need the half serrated. Uh, the serrations on the Benchmade aren't great. They're all they're, um, chisel ground, they're only ground on one side, and they're really not very deep. Um, I do find though that they do tend to cut rather than rip, unlike uh, serrations I've tried on other knives, um, Kershaw, uh, SOG, I find that some of those serrations tend to rip rather than cut. And the Benchmade serrations really do cut very well. Uh, however, on the, uh, the next one I'm getting, I'm probably not going to have the serrations because I haven't found them to be as useful as I thought. But your mileage may vary. Some people may really enjoy that serration, others might not. Again, the uh, the knife itself is very lightweight, 2.67 ounces, and with these plastic handles, even with the steel liners inside, the stainless steel liners, it's a very lightweight knife, and I find that it just disappears in my pocket. I'll go the whole day, uh, and you know, you hardly know that you're carrying it. Again, deployment is very fast for EDC or for uh, an emergency backup uh, defensive weapon. The Benchmade Mini Griptilian 557 really excels. Nothing really says uh, leave me alone better than one of these blades coming out of your pocket. 154 cm I feel is a very good choice for the blade steel. I'm not a big fan of D2 because I've seen it chip very often uh, but I find that the 154 has held up very well for me in the five months that I've carried this knife and I have carried this knife every day. Uh, again the the clip tends to wear very quickly uh, as do the screws but Honestly, on an EDC knife, that's really to be expected. So overall, this is my favorite EDC knife, and I have had many. I've been carrying knives for many years, but this Benchmade 557 truly is the favorite EDC knife that I've ever had. Well, that's me, Point Shooter, reviewing the uh, Benchmade Mini Grip Tilly, and I hope this review helps, and stay tuned because there will be a lot more coming at you on my channel page. All right, take care, guys. Bye.